everybody, it's Stacey Dove here, your Denver Metro Real Estate Resource. And today I wanted to cover some safety tips for new agents to the business when you're out showing property. So this is definitely something that your brokers should be reviewing with you is how to stay safe. Um, but if not, or maybe if they have, you want some other tips, here's some things that I always do and that my broker taught me that are very, very, very important to me. Um, pretty basic stuff when you're showing houses, I don't park in the driveway. Um, I don't want to give anyone the opportunity to park behind me and block me in. And also, I don't own that house. It's not my place. So uh, I just always park on the street in front of the house. Um, or, you know, if it's a condo or townhome or something, I mean, that has metered parking or public parking or visitor parking or something like that. Um, second thing, make sure that if you are showing a property to someone that you haven't met before. Personally, I will avoid doing that at all costs. I don't like meeting someone at a property if I've never met them before. Um, if I do, I make sure that I've talked to them on the phone and that I understand you know, who they are. They've talked to my lender. There's a little bit of vetting in the process. Um, but I will try to meet people at my office first or at a coffee shop or something just to one, go through the process, two, make sure they're not crazy and they get to make sure I'm not crazy. Um, and it's, it's part of the buyer orientation process is part of a, you know, that safety check is, is one of the things that I like to do in buyer orientation. But if I do have to meet someone at a property that I've never met before and I'm going by myself, um, before we ever go into the property, I ask to take a picture of their driver's license. And what I do is I send that to somebody, whether it be to my husband, my transaction coordinator, my managing broker, another broker that we, you know, we work together to keep each other safe, something like that. So somebody knows, one, where you are, so send them the address of what you're showing, and two, who you're with, the picture of that driver's license, um, in case anything were to happen. But if someone is hesitant to show you their driver's license, but they want you to go into a house alone with them, that should be red flag number one, okay? So it's it's kind of a way to make sure people aren't sketchy or trying to hide who they are or anything like that. Um, another thing that I always do is after I, well, entering the property, uh, I always, you know, knock, ring the doorbell. Nobody likes to be walked in on if they're not expecting anybody. And sometimes if, you know, a homeowner or a renter doesn't get a seller notification, just be sure to knock. Um, if no, you know, nobody answers or anything like that, open the door a small amount first because there may be a dog in the house that you don't know about. So open the door a small amount, make sure that nothing's gonna come at you through the door, <laughs> um, whether it be good, bad, anything else. And then when I walk in, I always announce myself, hey, Stacy Duffy, realtor, uh, hello, realtor here, anybody home, just to make sure and, and let anyone know that's in the house that, hey, I'm coming in, I'm bringing in people with me. Um, and then as soon as I walk in, let the, I know it's safe, let my buyers or my prospects in, and then I shut the front door and deadbolt it behind us. And a lot of my buyers, they kind of freak out because they don't notice it until we go to leave and they go to walk out the door and it's locked. <laughs> I let them know it's a safety. It's, it's for our safety. We want to make sure we can see the house, but we don't want anyone else to follow us in. And there have been realtor safety issues in the past where that's happened. So, you know, somebody may be parked across the street and know that the house is empty and that there's people walking in there. So just as a safety precaution, anytime you, you know, enter the property, make sure you lock the doors behind you so no one can follow you in. But anyway, there's lots of other good safety tips, but those are just some really, really, really basic ones for showing property that I always make sure to follow. Um, if you have any other safety tips that you'd like to share, that would be awesome. Please feel free to leave them down below. Or if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is on my website. The link for that is down below as well. So thanks so much for the time and have a great day. Bye-bye.